I booked my ticket. I bought a suitcase. Hmm, what do I do in between? Follow the video. I'll have lots of travel tips for you, things you might not have thought of, especially if you're the new to travel or travel over 50. Some rules have changed, so follow the video. Hi, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Um, this series of videos that we're doing is about preparing to travel. So you've booked your ticket, you've booked your accommodation, you haven't packed your suitcase yet and you obviously haven't flown or got on that fantastic cruise. This is what you need to do before you leave and after you book your ticket. So just a short series of videos so that it just doesn't roll on and on and on. Some helpful travel tips, especially if you're new to traveling or you're over 50s, haven't traveled for quite a while, or you've just never traveled. We spoke briefly also um, about uh, finding out, um, doing some research on the country that you're going to. And, and I always think it's nice if you can learn a few phrases. Now, even if you say them incorrectly, um, I always feel that people appreciate the fact that you gave it a go and that you appreciate them to be respectful enough to, to give it a go. Um, another thing we do is we, and, and again, this goes back to researching, but we check out for local events. Um, Thailand has quite a few festivals and we try to stagger our uh, dates so that um, we sort of catch different festivals at different times. Um, we quite enjoy going to Songkran and that's all a lot of fun uh, but um, yeah check out also local customs like do's and don'ts like for instance if you're going to um, Thailand uh, you can't go into if you're female you can't go into t to a temple without having your shoulders covered and having um, a skirt or you know to cover up below your knees so it's just simple things like that but it just you're in there in the land of the you know people you're a guest in their country and so i just think it's respectful to find out so that you know you you're kind of not stepping on people's toes and it's it's a lot of fun researching and it shows you what you've got to look forward to so yeah research um if you can check in online um, check-in is usually opened about I think it's 48 hours before your flight leaves and what check-in is is you go on the website of your uh, carrier and there will be a, a section there for you to check in so what that means is uh, you need your passport number I think and I think the risk probably the, the receipt or your some kind of number on your ticket and they will ask you for that and, and that'll be easy to find at that time, you can, if they're vacant, you can change seats to a better seat if that's, but only in the section that you've paid for. Um, so you can't go and then just update yourself to first class because that doesn't work. Uh, but that's that's handy because sometimes when, I know when we go and we check our flights, they will say, where do you want to sit? And you know, really and truly, we, we don't, we haven't actually come across a really horrendous seating arrangement yet. But it is good that you can, you know, when I check in, you can check and if you want to sit somewhere else, then you can do so. If someone's recommended a better seat range, then you can do that. Um, so then when once you've checked in, they will allow you to print off boarding passes. And what that means is when you get to the airport, um, there'll be a section where it's like online, like booked in or check in and you can just go and drop your baggage now you'll speak to somebody there so if you've got any questions or you don't think you've done it right or say you're going to for instance if we go to Phuket we go to KL first which is in Malaysia and then we change flights then you need another booking part a boarding pass to get onto the flight to Phuket and um, if you don't think you've done that correctly there will be somebody in the end of this line who's going to put the tags on your bags anyway and you can check with them and they'll sort it out for you. I like doing that because you tend to get through a little quicker, especially if you took my advice and you went there earlier and you were ready to go as soon as the lines open. Um, alternatively, you tend to get bigger lines for people that have not booked in online 
and it does take more time so if you can do that or ask somebody to help you it isn't rocket science and sometimes we don't do things because we're a little scared especially on computer it's almost like if you do something on the computer and you muck it up how do you fix that if you're brave enough do it and it's a good thing to learn because um i hate queuing up so it, it just it's a bit quicker so the last thing i have to talk about in this series so it was preparing to travel organization so we're going to have a couple of preparing to travel videos and this is the first one organization um, i have to tell you about traveling with liquids aerosols and gels if you haven't traveled in, traveled in quite a while, there has been a change and you're no longer allowed to carry on a liquid, a gel or an, or an aerosol if it is over 100 mil. There are lots of um, products out there that are already pre-packaged now in, in the small containers, um, deodorants, shaving foams, toothpastes, or alternatively, uh, you can buy the little empty containers they they usually sell them in um, travel packs and you can fill up your own no matter what you buy if you can unsc unscrew a lid pop a bit of plastic wrap over there so unscrew the lid plastic wrap over screw the lid back up because um, sometimes with the pressure um, they can leak a bit and you don't want them obviously leaking everywhere uh, they will then need to go into a Ziploc bag around about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and um, and then you carry them in your check-in no sorry in your carry-on luggage anything over a hundred mil has to go in your check-in suitcases so you can carry you know a can of shaving cream that's fine has to be in your check-in baggage um, and I, I'm just going to read a few things um, because, again, I never really, when I first started traveling, I was more of a follower, you know, so I would just follow. And I don't even think we obeyed half the rules. And I certainly didn't get anyone into water my plants. Um, but I've learned so much, and this is why I want to just try to impart it with you. So, for examples of a liquid an aerosol and a gel and i'm going to read it is let's have a look examples toothpaste jams sauces soft drinks perfume skin creams deodorants hairspray shaving foam hand sanitizer i have to say i've never thought of taking it you know jams and sauces but then i guess some people do I want to tell you as well don't don't um, get a container that's you know like 200 mil or whatever and just put a hundred mil in it because they're going to take it away from you when you go through security they're going to ask you you've got to show it and you know you they will take it away from you and then they just throw it if someone's taking you to the airport and they suddenly spring a beautiful bottle of wine on you to take say thank you but no thank you because when you go through security they're going to take that bottle of wine off you so um yeah just get that www checked as well uh i'm not going to talk about duty free in this video um because to be honest i've i've just never actually had a clear cut explanation from a person in the duty free all i do know is the amount of cigarettes is smaller now um i think that the amount of liters is smaller but normally um if we are going to get any wine or alcohol for bringing home we actually buy it before we leave and then we it gets it stays in the country you know where we originated from and then we pick it up when we land uh, we don't normally take duty free through anywhere we just find it's a bit of a hassle sometimes and and um, we bought one time we stopped in bangkok and we bought duty free i think it was aftershave for our boys i think 
and um, they said, yeah, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll give it to you before you get on the plane. And no kidding, it came down to the wire. And we were we were panicking because it's almost like, well, we're just going to have to leave the aftershave because we need to get on this plane. So do your own research and come to your own conclusions about duty free. I hope these tips haven't scared you they're not about scaring you they're about just giving you some ideas and maybe some are a bit over the top but when we took our group of six whatever last year and um they they started asking me da 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 da, da and i told them these things and you know they hadn't thought of half of that and you may have you may not have I want you to be able to travel. I want to try to tell you as many tips as I can. I want you to travel. If you're a new person traveling, a newbie, or you're over 50s, or you just haven't traveled in a long time, don't stop. Make sure you get started. Research, plan. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not a free spirit. Oh, so I'd probably just jump, up, jump on a plane. I want you to have the best time I want you to experience um, flight and cruising and travel and, you know, so many things. And I have to tell you that we were going to wait till we retired. And um, and then we sort of said, ah, you know, maybe we shouldn't because, you know, it might break a hip when we retire. And, you know, we have had some health issues and um and i'm glad that i got to do some of the things that i did uh, you know i got to go parasailing and that's like running off the beach and being lifted into the air over the ocean and um dunked in the water to have to un unhook my parasailing chute whatever you'd call it and there's a few other things that i can't do now and i'm so glad that i did them it was amazing and uh but i want you to do that so follow our videos please subscribe to our video it doesn't cost you anything and what that means is when we put up another video um you should get a notification if you don't get a notification just check us out just come back regularly give me a thumbs up please uh we would like to continue to do these videos for you but good luck check out our other video of um going to the the travel agent and what you should ask etc etc and um and just follow us through because you know it's a bit slow going because we're trying to make good videos so thanks for following us um look forward to seeing you in the, the next video um but yeah thank you and i hope you've actually got something out of this um i'm going to have an email address below so that if you would like to have any questions answered i'll do my best and um look forward to seeing you at the next video excuse my hair now i've just put the fan on because it's really hot <laughs> i'll see you next video this is jean dolby until next time bye